Discover the fundamentals of navigating between pages in WinUI using the Navigation View component. This lesson will guide you through essential techniques for efficiently managing page navigation and leveraging the Navigation View's capabilities to enhance the user interface of your WinUI applications. Creating a new project. Adding a blank page main page, which will be the main page of the application. Adding the main page into the frame element. Adding a main menu with an options menu item to the main page. In the C-sharp code, the options menu flyout item click method performs navigation to the options page, passing the current frame to it, although other data can also be passed. Adding a page named options page to the project. Defining a navigation view element with three menu items, interface, system, and hotkeys. The navigation view is configured with a visible back button and handling selection changed and back requested events. In the C-sharp code for the options page, on navigated to this method handles the event when navigating to the page. 
it checks if there is a frame parameter in the navigation event args object, and if present, saves it to root frame, which is the main navigation frame in the application. Navigation view selection changed, this method is called when the selected item in the navigation view changes. It retrieves the selected menu item, navigation view item, extracts the tag of the item to determine the page type to display, and navigates content frame to the corresponding page. Navigation view back requested, this method is called when a back navigation is requested from the navigation view. It checks if a back operation can be performed, can go back, and if possible, performs navigating back. OK button click, this method is called when the OK button is clicked. It also checks if a back operation can be performed on root frame, and if possible, performs navigating back. Creating a folder named Options Pages in the Solution Explorer. Adding a page named Interface to the Options Pages folder. Adding demo content to the interface page. Adding another page named System to the Options Pages folder. Adding demo content to the System page. 